For the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the sound of commerce and the life of its residents resonate through its nine commercial service and 30 general aviation airports. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation Aeronautics Division oversees 36 of these public use airports. Each of these airports, from the largest to the smallest, contributes to its economy and the quality of life enjoyed by businesses, residents, and visitors. We're able to open up our county uh, through this airport for hospitality issues at so many of the cultural venues that we have and we're also able to see businessmen come in and leave in one day uh, being able to conduct their business in an efficient and effective way. Massachusetts airports are major economic catalysts that are responsible for generating billions of dollars in economic benefit and supporting thousands of jobs. Well, the Commonwealth's general aviation airports are uh, economic engines for a variety of reasons. In many instances, they're uh, an economic engine for some of our gateway cities, whether it be Fitchburg or Pittsfield, uh, New Bedford, for example. They're critical for our tourism. Uh, we have a number of airports on the Cape and the Islands, for example, in western Massachusetts that are utilized uh, seasonally uh, for tourism activities. Um, and then we have other uh, airports in the Commonwealth that also support commercial aviation. And most recently, we just published a statewide airport economic impact study, which shows not only the economic impacts, but also the jobs uh, that are created either directly or indirectly uh, relative to all of our airports. On airport businesses such as airlines, flight schools, and fixed base operators are all responsible for creating thousands of jobs and extensive capital projects throughout the Commonwealth. Well, the region will benefit from the current upgrades that, that we are making. In, in basically three ways. Number one, it will allow, it will allow for more of the uh, larger jets to be able to land at the Pittsfield Airport. Number two, and every bit as important, we are improving the safety of that airport for all of the planes that are coming in. And number three, we are building an all-weather uh, landing airport. Uh, and that means more people can rely on coming uh, to the Pittsfield uh, Airport in good weather and in bad. We've been very fortunate uh, with the changes we've made in, to the infrastructure here in the last 10 years. Uh, the previous years we were all really confined to one area, but uh, with good planning and strong cooperation with the FAA and MassDOT, we've been able to uh, create a plan that has allowed us to develop another formerly unused area. The FAA works closely with general aviation airports, state officials, and airport consultants to identify, plan, and prioritize airport projects. Visitors who travel to Massachusetts on commercial airlines or private aircrafts also help to create economic activity by spending locally on hotels, restaurants, retail, and entertainment. Small communities like the city of Pittsfield and modest sized airports like the city of Pittsfield has are critical are critical to our economic and social uh, development. They're critical to bringing in the kinds of revenues we need uh, from those visitors uh, to make us a sustainable community. Overall, the state's public use airports generate 11.9 billion in total annual economic activity, 4.9 billion in total annual payroll, and over 124,000 jobs that can be traced to the aviation industry. The maintenance shop, KC Aviation, has been on the field for over 25 years. He maintains all the airplanes that are based here at Mansfield Airport, as well as he has an extensive range of aircraft that come in from all over the Northeast. We also have an aeronautics shop, and it's a state-of-the-art uh, multi-use facility where airplanes can come in and get some type of an upgrade. Uh, one of the other uh, very important operations that occurs here at Mansfield are the med flights. Because we had such a bad winter last year, the snow was so deep, Mansfield Airport was called upon several times uh, as the exclusive uh, med flight zone. Since World War II, military aviation has been an important component of total statewide aviation activity. Hanscom Air Force Base has the greatest economic impact of all Massachusetts military facilities, with thousands of military and civilian personnel working on site. 
Hanscom Air Force Base, according to their figures, employs 7,000 plus on a daily basis, only 1,100 of which are military. And so the rest are made up of contractors and civilians that work for the federal government. And that, in the larger Massachusetts economy, makes them one of the 10 largest employers and an economic benefit to, of $1.6 billion. Our two primary businesses are our fixed-based operators, which are jet aviation and signature flight support. And along with them, we have our corporate aviation uh, users that house their aircraft here. We have uh, flight schools. We have two of those. And then we have um, a National Aviation Academy, which um, teaches uh, aircraft mechanics to students, and they have a population of about 175 currently. Aircraft maintenance service facilities provide a variety of airframe and power plant services, as well as aircraft customization and avionics sales and repair. The technicians at these businesses have years of knowledge and experience and provide high quality workmanship. In Westfield, the bulk of the jobs certainly are technical in nature. We have distinct positions for those that uh, maintain the mechan mechanical systems of the airplane, the avionics system, and also the interior components of the airplane. Uh, these are highly skilled positions, of course, bring high pay along with them. Uh, additionally, there are various administrative and man managerial positions. Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation Service Center at Westfield Barnes Regional Airport designs, develops, manufactures, services, and supports one of the world's most technologically advanced business jet aircraft. The facility also plays a critical role in servicing aircraft in the high-traffic New York and Boston metropolitan areas. We service about 500 airplanes per year. Additionally, we handle about 400 road trips away from the facility. It's a great thing for the city of Westfield to be able to say, we have an airport in our district. You can get from Westfield to anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world um, by using Barnes Airfield. And we bring in uh, many businesses come into the airfield um, and then go out from there using our other uh, means of transportation. The Massachusetts Turnpike and Route 20 are very close by. This is a transportation hub for Western Massachusetts. And so if our community didn't have an airfield, we wouldn't have businesses like this. And without those businesses, there go the jobs, there go the taxes, and there go the other benefits that we derive from having an airfield here. From the Berkshires to the Cape and Islands, the airport system is a vital economic engine that helps to preserve and improve the overall quality of life in Massachusetts. Our airports provide connectivity to worldwide markets and destinations helping to sustain the Bay State's rapidly expanding business community and its world-renowned tourist destinations.